Our tour uh, opened just a little more than two years ago now. Uh, each package of the show is in 16 trucks. So there are 16 trucks of costumes, props, scenery, lighting gear, all that stuff loaded in here at the Hippodrome. There is just one company. We do have doubles of some of the set and lighting gear and sound gear. Uh, so we can get a jump, uh, jump start on the advance. Uh, we've got about two more trucks of that stuff, so we're in 18 trucks altogether. About two and a half days to load in and about 16 hours to load out. Wow. It takes about 100 locals in addition to our crew to help us get it in the door and about that many to help us get back out. Uh, and then we hire another 35 people to help us run the show night to night in each city. Uh, our chandelier is one ton. Uh, it has more than 6,000 beads. Uh, it contains lighting effects, uh, smoke and haze and sound effects. Uh, pyrotechnic effects, fireworks. Uh, it really is one of the stars of the show. It has as much choreography as some of our ballerinas. <laughs> uh, we want it to, be, to appear terrifying without actually being terrifying. Uh, everything is checked out by an engineer before we get here. It's all perfectly safe. Uh, but, but when it makes its plunge, it's pretty scary. Uh, well, our costumes are uh, from the Tony Award winning design by uh, Maria Bjornsson, and a lot of them are rigged for quick changes. Uh, the ballerinas, their fastest change is about 20 seconds. Uh, there are a couple of costume changes we do right on stage, and we change the phantom on stage behind some scenery. Uh, that one, we have a couple of minutes to do it, but we're hiding behind scenery while we do it. Um, so all that stuff is built right into the costume. It's rigged with snaps and zippers and uh, in ways that you can't see from the audience, obviously. Uh, but yeah, we have, we have several pretty fast changes in the show. Uh, the women in our show actually have it the worst. Some of their dresses, um, Jackie, who plays Carlotta, has a 40-pound costume that she wears in one of the opera suits. Uh, so with the bustles and the trains and all that, the ladies actually have it the worst. Uh, well, all of our design is new. Aside from the uh, Tony Award winning costumes, everything else has been redesigned. The lighting package, the sound, and the sets have been redesigned. Uh, the score, the story is all still the same. It's still the classic Phantom. Uh, but our sets move and work in different ways. Uh, we have uh, a 10 ton revolving wall that splits in half. Uh, and that's our sort of main scenic piece. It sort of allows us to have some cinematic uh, transitions where one thing disappears and another thing appears at the same time. Uh, our, our scenic design is, I think, really exciting. I'm sort of the, the backstage uh, traffic cop. Uh, it's, uh, the stage managers are the only department that sort of deals with everybody on a night-to-night -night basis, which is my favorite part of the job. I get to see everybody in the company night-to-night. Uh, -night. So yeah, we're in touch with the maestro during the show, uh, and I get to see the orchestra and say hello on their way into the pit. Our office is right by the pit here, so it's kind of nice to get to see everybody. Uh, well, I, uh, I'm a Phantom fan for a long time. I first saw the show when I was 14 years old, and it hooked me then. Uh, so I feel really blessed to be working on the show now. Um, every night, the end of the show really still gets me. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the classic love story still gets me. Uh, if I'm calling the show, if I'm supervising the show, I have to not watch it too carefully. <laughs> uh, because it, it's still sort of an emotional moment, even after all this time. Uh, I was going to be a veterinarian, actually. I went to uh, Michigan State to be a veterinarian, uh, but I was in the theater program, you know, taking some classes on the side in the theater program at the same time. Uh, you know, I'd done uh, high school theater, and uh, I decided that I really liked my theater classes a lot better than my math and science uh, veterinary classes and switched my major, and now here I am, <laughs> all these years later, uh, working on the show that sort of hooked me on Broadway in the first place. I'm really lucky that way. I've been with this production since we first started rehearsals in New York in October of 2013. Carlotta is the Italian prima donna of the Paris Opera House, and she's been the prima donna for about five years, but for three years there have been horrible things happening and management is not doing anything about it, so she's starting to throw diva fits. The previous Phantom is, uh, we call it the brilliant original because it, it was so, uh, it's still breathtaking. It's very stylized, uh, dark. Our new take is uh, by the director Lawrence Connor. He's also directing uh, Rock of, uh, no, a School of Rock and Les Mis on Broadway. And we went for technology that was more advanced. It's been 30 years. And we also went for a more modern approach, what modi modern audiences want to see, which is more th dimension from the characters. We see all the sides of the Phantom. Uh, Carlotta, for instance, is not just a one-dimensional diva. She's a living, breathing human being that's pretty frustrated with the condition of the opera house. Uh, you'll still hear the same beautiful music. Uh, there's even, I think, even more spectacle, the same gorgeous costumes. But it's, it's worth a view. 
Yeah, actually several of them weigh 40 pounds. The dress that I enter in is about 40 pounds. Uh, my uh, red first manager's dress is also, I, I think that might be the heaviest, 40 pounds. Uh, it's, it's funny, with the bigger the costume, sometimes the lighter it is because of the hoop skirt. Uh, and sometimes if I have to call out, I call out not because I can't sing it, but because literally I'm, I'm too uh, sick, exhausted to carry the costumes. <laughs> Sometimes we can see it on the monitor. We can see the uh, what happens to the chandelier in the very beginning of the show uh, correspond with the music, and I still get goosebumps. <laughs> it's still really exciting. It's really fun when you feel an audience responding and being right there with you because it feels more of a community event than a presentation.